Hi everyone, Miss Wyke here, and today we're going to talk about a new grammar gremlin. This grammar gremlin is easy to confuse because it just flops two letters. As you can see, there's quiet, and then there's quite. Look at this, E-T or T-E. Just two letters flopped, that's it, and it changes the whole meaning of the word. The first word is quiet. And quiet, as we know, is the absence of noise, right? It means not loud, not talking. It means quiet. And I know this is really hard for you guys. I mean, come on. Being quiet? Hmm. wonder if you guys can meet that challenge. The other word is quite. And quite is a word that is more like very, pretty, rather, and those, and those are words that just emphasize something, right? It's an adjective that kind of emphasizes it. Like, she is quite comfortable in that big fluffy chair, or she is quite good at doing that, or whatever. It kind of takes the place of very. However, if you think of the word pretty, we're not talking about how she looks like Oh, she looks so pretty in that dress. No, no, no. That would be like pretty good at something or that kind of pretty. In other words, quite good at something, very good at something. Rather good at that, right? It's They're pretty good at it. It's very good. You're quite good. So quiet versus quite, not the same. Totally different meanings, right? Okay, let's take a look at this grammar gremlin or the paragraph that has been attacked by the grammar gremlins, right? Let's see what mistakes we can find. Gremlins love all games, especially the quite game. It is quite easy for gremlins to be quite. That's why we can be right beside you and you never know it. Yeah, well clearly they mixed up quiet and quite several times. I think I see another grammar gremlin in there as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and go, they like to play the quite game? I don't think so. I think it's the quiet game. Then it is quite easy. Oops, that is really thick writing for some reason. Quite easy for gremlins to be quite quiet. That's why you can be right beside you and you never know it. Okay, the only other one I saw is this version of to. We're not talking about something also. We're just saying it's to be. It's, it's like they're doing it. And it's easy for grown ones to be quiet. Okay, I think I caught them all. Am I right? Okay, now it's your turn. Let's practice. Okay guys, now it's your turn. Is it quite or quiet? You tell me. Gremlins always wear soft little boots over their feet so they can be blank when they look around for moldy cheese in your fridge at night. Their little boots are cute. They are made out of eggplant purple velvet so they are really soft and what words go in those sentences? Does it mean quite or quiet? You tell me. Let's check it out. Talk to you later. Bye.